Hello viewers, in this video I am going to show you how you can install B571 the latest update of Marshmallow for Huawei Mate 7. First of all you need to install TWRP recovery and if you have already installed your phone must not be rooted. If you have your rooted you need to unroot your phone completely. Okay, once you have uh, installed uh, TWRP recovery. Uh, you have to uh, boot your phone in TWRP recovery to start your phone in TWRP recovery you need to hold volume up and the power button once you see Huawei logo you can release the power button but keep holding the volume up button once you enter in uh, recovery mode TWRP recovery mode you can select the backup option and you need to back up your current firmware uh, in case something goes wrong during the upgrade process you can always recover your phone by restoring this backup on your phone again i am using uh, b560 so you need to check all these options except the cache cache you should not you should, you should not back up so once you have selected all options then you need to swipe to backup and the process will start it will save uh, the backup on your if you have uh, SD card it will save on SD card if you have internal memory then it will save uh, on uh, it will save this backup on your internal memory so this process is going to take uh, like uh, 5 to 8 minutes so wait until it finishes Remember your phone must not be rooted. If your phone will be rooted, you will face problem during the upgrade process. And to, uh, if you don't know how to install the um, TWRP recovery, you can uh, check the link in video description. Okay, the backup process is about to finish don't touch anything okay let it complete okay once the backup is completed boot up your phone in normal mode and the backup TWRP backup of B571 that you have downloaded you need to extract that fold that uh, uh, zip file or compressed file once you have unzipped this file or you have extracted this file you need to open that folder let it complete okay the extraction process has been completed now i will show you uh, how you where you have to copy uh, this twrp backup remember you have um, created uh, the twrp backup of your current firmware on your uh, memory you need to open that folder twrp backups and you will see one folder with the serial number you have to open that folder and you have to you will see the one folder with the name with the date and with the name of your current firmware you need to copy b571 backup in same folder i will show you let me find where i have copied the uh, okay here it is okay this is the TWRP backup of B571. You need to copy this folder with the date. You can see 26-7-2016 is the date. You need to copy this folder and paste along with the old your current firmware folder. As you can see, this folder should be copied inside the serial number folder of your uh, phone. In TWRP backups and then serial number folder and inside that folder you have to copy the B571 uh, TWRP backup if you don't copy in this folder your uh, phone will not be able to see the 
backup okay now i will show you i will uh, make sure that i have uh, copied the backup correctly okay so both backups are there b560 that i have made the backup and b571 that i am going to restore on my phone now i will restart my phone uh, in twrp recovery again i will hold the power button and uh, volume up button okay phone booted up i will keep holding the volume up button because i want to enter twrp recovery okay now in TWRP recovery I will choose uh, wipe option I have to wipe my current firmware completely because if I if I will restore my uh, okay click uh, you have to tap on advanced uh, wipe and there you choose dial with cache cache data system but don't select internal storage remember if you will select internal storage your all images videos music everything will be formatted so don't select it okay only first three options and the system these four options you have to select once you have selected these four options you can swipe to sil to continue the wipe process and the process should start it will take uh, uh, from uh, 5 to 10 minutes sometimes it, it may take a little more time but you have to be uh, yeah you have to wait a little bit longer so I will wait until it finishes okay the process has been finished and now I will restore the B571 um, uh, backup just uh, go back and uh, tap on the backup and uh, it will ask you which backup you want to select you should select b571 and swipe to restore nothing else you don't you, uh, you don't need to change anything you don't need to select anything just select the backup okay and uh, you can see my backup just finished and uh, i will i have just swipe uh, i will just now reboot my phone okay I rebooted to system and uh, phone should boot up okay the phone just booted up now uh, the boot process uh, will take uh, like uh, 10 to 15 minutes so you guys don't get worried that uh, your phone is uh, breaked or uh, somewhat nothing will happen you just need to wait if it if, if, even if it takes more than 10 minutes you have to wait okay don't be in hurry don't be don't switch off your phone don't don't touch anything just let it boot and it will be okay okay my phone just booted up after 10 minutes for me it took 10 minutes okay now uh, you can see it is uh, just uh, booted up and uh, asking me to select the language i will make uh, the basic settings just to show you that uh, b571 has been installed successfully language has been selected and now it will ask for my region okay I will select any no problem I will skip uh, all the all things that uh, I don't need to set up right now so you guys uh, set up according to your uh, requirement okay i will not enter my google id also because i just want to show you that b571 is running on my phone perfectly i just want to tell you that uh, using same process both uh, phones tl 10 and t and l09 32 gb version and uh, uh, 16 gb version both can be updated okay now it is asking me for the fingerprint i will roll up later and okay done configuration is successful 
and uh, it will ask me to select the 4G SIM card on which SIM card I want to use the data everything is working fine my 4G is also working I will show you okay here you can see my current firmware is C900B571 so I have successfully upgraded to B571 without any issues so guys if you want to upgrade do it now and please subscribe to my channel for more videos for more interesting videos in future thank you for watching